All right, so thermal energy makes things warm, just like we practiced with our hands. They're at a normal temperature right now. When we rub together, it creates friction. Can you say that word friction? It creates friction and then our, our hands become warm and we just created thermal energy. Well, why do we need thermal energy? Why is it so important? We talked about last week with light energy. Light energy is super important so we can see what's in front of us and what's around us. But why is thermal energy important? What are some things we need to keep warm? Well, we as humans, we need to be warm, right? If we did not have thermal energy, we would be freezing all the time. The earth would be freezing and we would be cold. The animals would be cold. So we need thermal energy to survive and keep warm. So I'm going to write on the anchor chart that people need to be warm. People need it to be warm. I know I'm drawing like stick figures right now, and that's okay. People need it to be warm. We also need it because um, animals also need thermal energy to be warm as well. So some animals need it to survive. Oh, I'm gonna write animal. Animals need thermal energy to survive. So I can draw some animals. Draw a cat. Okay. Animals need energy to survive. And then why else do we need energy or thermal energy? I want you to think about your food. What do we need thermal energy for, for food? We need thermal energy. We need to warm up our food to be able to eat. Not all food we can eat to be cold, uh, that we eat can be cold. It needs to be cooked or warmed. So we need thermal energy to cook our food. So I might draw, let's see. I might draw pizza pizza just to help us remember to cook our food. Would pizza be super yummy without being warmed up and cooked? No, it wouldn't. Draw some pizza. Um, and then I can also draw, I'll draw a chicken like this. We need to be able to warm up our food like chicken to be able to eat because we cannot eat it raw without cooking it. Then, So we wouldn't be able to eat um, a lot of food without using thermal energy to cook our food. So that's why it's so important. But now let's look at sources of thermal energy. So I'm going to give you some time to look around you or to think. What are different things that you know make heat and produce thermal or heat energy? Go ahead and take a few um, seconds to answer. You can answer to the screen. You can tell your parent or your teacher. Okay, I hope that you were able to think about things around you that make heat or thermal energy. Let's write some down or I'll write some down. So the main source of thermal energy for our earth is the sun. Now the sun produces, it's super important because it produces light so we can see, but it also warms up the entire planet. So without the sun, we would not be warm and we would not be able to see. So the main source of thermal energy is the sun. So let me draw a picture of our sun right here. Let 
can you see that? Okay. Let's make it a little bit orange too, because yellow can be hard to see. So the sun is a big source of thermal energy and heat. What's another thing? What um that produces thermal energy? What about the a fire, right? We have fire. Have you ever cooked a s'more on a fire before? Or have you ever been really, really cold outside when it's winter and you come in and maybe you make a fire and sit by it? Yes, a fire, draw fire, is another source of thermal energy. What else, what other kind of energy does fire make? Remember, we talked about it last week. Fire also makes light energy. So if you're noticing some sources of thermal energy, like the sun and fire, are also sources of light energy, which makes them super important. A little bit. Okay. So fire is another source of thermal energy. What about what do you use to cook at home? Or what is what are your families, your parents, your grandparents, what do people use to cook their food at home? An oven and a microwave are two other sources of thermal energy. We need them to um, heat up our food. So a little bit more. So now I'm going to draw um, an oven and a stove together. So this is our stove top with the burners. These burners, sometimes they have fire, sometimes they use gas, but they heat up and they cook the food. On it, and show some fire, but then also we can put stuff in the oven. So I'm going to label this stove or oven because those provide thermal energy to cook our food. And I had also said a microwave, like if you cook popcorn in the microwave or make soup in the microwave. That also is something that helps us cook our food. So I'll draw a microwave. Can you see that? So microwave. Awesome. What about if you're at home and it's winter time or in the car and it's winter time and it gets and it gets super, super cold? What um heats up your home or your car. The heater. All of our homes and all of our cars have heaters in them that um, produce heat energy and thermal energy to make it warm because it's really uncomfortable if it's really, really cold outside and you're not able to warm up. So I'm also going to draw a heater unit. Let's see. don't really know what those look like. I'll draw this. <laughs> Just gonna call this a heater. Now, these are not the only things that make thermal energy. There are other things that produce thermal energy as well, but these are just some examples that I want you to know about, okay? Now we're going to watch a Brain Pop Junior to learn a little bit more about 